Medi Martin's electronic devices and instruments Intuitive explanation of properties of superconductor and levitation Superconductivity is an amazing phenomena of resistance of some materials becoming absolute zero below certain temperature In this video we used yttrium barium copper oxide ybco type superconductor ybco becomes superconductor when the temperature is brought below minus 183 degree centigrade At room temperature YBCO is not a superconductor and it does not respond to magnetic fields When it becomes superconductor it will not become a magnet on its own There will not be any internal circulating current until it is charged with external magnetic field This is the superconductor and this is the magnet. There is no attraction or repulsion to the magnet. Now the north pole is being moved towards and away from the coil. The induced voltage can be observed in the oscilloscope. Similarly, south pole is moved. but the superconductor is not inducing any voltage the clockwise side of a multi turn coil is connected to the oscilloscope a north pole coming towards the coil will induce a negative voltage a north pole moving away will induce a positive voltage the opposite will happen in case of a south pole but the superconductor will not induce any voltage when a south pole is inserted the induced voltage will be in clockwise direction and when a north pole is inserted voltage will be in anti clockwise direction When a south pole is inserted a current will flow in clockwise direction if the coil is short circuited This will produce a south pole in the coil which will repel the movement of the magnet Similarly when a north pole is inserted a current will flow in anti clockwise direction this will produce a north pole in the coil which will repel the movement of the magnet When a south pole is moved away a current will flow in anti clockwise direction if the coil is short circuited This will produce a north pole in the coil which will attract and try to stop the movement of the magnet When a south pole is inserted a current will flow in clockwise direction if the coil is short circuited This will produce a south pole in the coil which will repel the movement of the magnet When a south pole is moved away a current will flow in anti clockwise direction if the coil is short circuited This will produce a north pole in the coil which will attract and try to stop the movement of the magnet The current induced by a moving magnet flows as per Lenz's law which states that if an induced current flows its direction is always such that it will oppose the change which produced it
If the conductor is having zero resistance, this current will remain forever, keeping the magnetism forever. This is what happens in a superconductor. An open end multi turn coil does not oppose the movement of a magnet. But when it is short circuited, it starts responding to the movement of the magnet. An aluminum sheet is like a short circuited coil. It opposes all movements relative to a magnet. If aluminum sheet is coming towards a magnet, it will repel it. If aluminum sheet is going away from a magnet, it will attract due to the induced current flowing inside the aluminum sheet. The aluminum sheet is responding to the horizontal movement of the magnet. This shows the induced current due to the horizontal movement of the magnet is slowing down the movement. Instead of aluminum sheet, if superconductor is used, it will stop the movement of the magnet. This prevents the levitated magnet from sliding and falling off of a superconductor sheet. The magnet cannot slide above a big conductor or superconductor because the change in magnetic field will cause a current flow inside the conductor and will produce an opposing magnetic field. But a conductor or superconductor can slide within the horizon of a big magnet because there is no change in the magnetic field as long as the conductor stays inside the magnet boundaries. A magnet is placed on the table with north pole upside. Two books are kept above the magnet as a spacer. Another magnet is placed with north pole downwards so that it will levitate. It levitates but slides away. Instead of a book, an aluminium sheet is kept. Now the sliding is slowed down. But if it was a superconductor, it will not slide away. A current flow is applied externally to a coil. Coil will repel or attract towards the magnet depending on the current direction. For a normal copper coil, due to resistance, an external power is needed to keep the current. 
In case of a superconductor, the induced current will remain. If a superconductor comes close to magnet, it will produce the same pole and repel. If superconductor goes away from the magnet, it will produce the opposite pole and attract. There is no magnetism in a superconductor. No voltage is induced in the pickup coil. A magnet is inducing voltage in the pickup coil. This is a Hall effect sensor. The polarity is marked with yellow and black colors. South pole placed over the yellow side will cause a rise in sensing voltage. North pole placed over the yellow side will cause a fall in sensing voltage. Similarly, south pole placed over the black side will cause a fall in sensing voltage. North pole placed over the black side will cause a rise in sensing voltage. But superconductor is not causing any change in sensing voltage. Now pouring liquid nitrogen from cryo can. Nitrogen boils and brings down the temperature to around minus 190 degree, which is below the critical temperature of YBCO superconductor, which is minus 183 degree centigrade. Now a south pole is brought towards the superconductor. A current in clockwise direction will flow and the superconductor will produce a south pole which will repel the magnet. The magnet is pushed to make it closer to the superconductor. More current will circulate inside the superconductor. If the magnet is moved away from the superconductor, a north pole will be produced and will attract the magnet. Since the magnet is closer to the superconductor, any effort to slide it horizontally will be opposed by the superconductor. So the magnet floats above the superconductor. Now the Hall effect sensor is sensing a north pole on the superconductor. Since we just took away south pole from the superconductor, an anti-clockwise current will flow and remain inside the superconductor which produces a north pole. The magnetism is also sensed with a single turn pickup coil. The magnet can also levitate above a superconductor with poles on left and right side. After removing the magnet, the Hall effect sensor is sensing both the poles on the same face of the superconductor. As narrated, clockwise and anticlockwise current flow is happening on the same face of the superconductor. The superconductor is turned upside down, no magnetism is detected on the other side. Superconductor can also be charged with electromagnet. Thousands of ampere turn is applied for a short duration from the discharge of capacitor. 
when an aluminum sheet is placed over the electromagnet the sudden magnetism will induce a high circulating current inside the aluminum sheet and repel it the same demo is shown with an air core coil Now the superconductor is charged with this electromagnet. The superconductor now becomes more powerful magnet. It attracts a knife. and bolt it also locks with a magnet if the circulating current inside superconductor is high the locking distance will be less and vice versa mm. at certain circulating current in superconductor a low power magnet will lock closer and high power magnet will lock further also the pulse charging from the electromagnet was strong enough to penetrate and make both sides a magnet when the temperature rises the magnetism loses so india thank you for watching